Welcome inside Oracle Arena. I'm Ed Cohen with the former Chicago Bulls guard Jay Williams. And Jay, next year, the Warriors will move across the bay to San Francisco. But right now, trying to put on another show here in Oakland. And speaking of a show, how about how many shows we saw in this building? The days of Run TMC, the killer crossover by Tim Hardaway, and how about the sweet shooting of Chris Mullen and Mitch Richmond? Expect nothing short of greatness within these walls. The opening tip controlled by the Warriors and we're underway in the final year at the Oracle. Curry to Green. Thompson to Green. Down to five on the 24. Durant. His first effort off the mark. Here comes the screen. Able to convert inside. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Curry to bring it up. Down just a couple. Short jumper off the mark. To Irving. Horford. Nice pass to set things up. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. Nothing going here on that drive. Curry to Durant. Warriors with four to shoot. KD for two. Ah, Kevin Durant missed his first. That one goes. That was a tough shot. The guy was in your pocket. He even contested the shot. Everything was going according to plan until then. Irving. A oh, bad pass there. Warriors have it. Cousins. Gets it in the left corner. Thompson buries it on the catch and shoot. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Irving. Durant across the timeline. They can get a two for one if they play this right. The ball in the hands of Kyrie Irving. Trying to cash in. The screen sets him up for two. The pro game has really come down to PNRs. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Durant with the basketball up top. Shot clock off as they look for a go ahead bucket. Down a point. Screen coming. Knocks it down from mid range. Played one here at Oracle with the Warriors on top. Jay and I back with more after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. Second quarter set to start. Neither team set the tone to start this one. Jay, do you expect that to change? Well, first off, I'm going to take my analytical hat off and then put my fan hat on. This has been a blase first quarter. Not good, not bad, right in between. Let's see how both teams come out and try to adjust themselves in the second half. To Horford. Irving. 
now ready with a couple of free throws. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. First one, count it. It's a second. One more coming. Three for three. Nice. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Down two. Durant to Green. To Curry. Has a look. Ah, Steph Curry. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. In just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to exploit. Count it, and the foul. He is going to the line for a free throw. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Kyrie Irving at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throws good for Irving as he finishes off the three-point play, adding to the Celtics' lead. Warriors have the basketball. Durant to Thompson. Screen coming. Curry missed it. Irving into the front court. Up by three. Has a chance. Kyrie Irving. That's three now on four shots. Jay, you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey. He's overcome a lot of obstacles, chief among them staying healthy and on the floor. Yeah, Ed, he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college. But the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage. Making the game-winning shot in Game 7, he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great, inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant. Connect from inside. Durant across the timeline. Under a minute to go before halftime. Jumper's good. He's a modern day big that plays like a 6 2 guard. Scary. Kyrie across the timeline. Leads three. From the painted area, won't go down. Kyrie Irving. He's now four for six. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Here comes the screen. Cash is in for two. Curry, obviously the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Yeah, I said it. But he's so good at driving and using his body to shield off the contact. don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. It's Steph at the controls. A oh, bad pass, and the Celtics have it. Add two points to the board. That misses with two seconds to go. That'll do it for the first half. The Celtics have the lead.
Thanks, Ed. The Celtics have built a comfortable lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Boston Celtics. The Warriors have yet to appear after one half of basketball. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. These are the guys getting buckets for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Rebounds. The Boston Celtics are extending a lot of possessions and wearing out the defense with their emphasis on rebounding. Player of the half. Kyrie Irving has the defense figured out, and his shots are falling for him. That's a lethal combination that will be hard to overcome. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Celtics have it. Irving. Surveys the floor. Here's Curry with it up top. The margin standing now at seven. Here comes the screen. Curry to Thompson. Green to Thompson. Draymond Green. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. No doubt about where that one was headed. Into the front court, it's Irving. His guys lead here early stages, third quarter. Horford from the outside, no good. This team is collectively feeding off their negative energy so far in the second half. Everybody is mad. Everybody is frustrated. Nobody's decided to take the torch and say, hey, look, follow my lead. Thompson to Durant. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. Have we ever seen anyone like KD? Easy answer, no. He's the greatest offensive threat we've ever seen in the game. He has a 7-5 wingspan, and he's doing things that Russell Westbrook does with the ball. We've never seen it before. Nothing going here on that drive. Over to the right side. Oh, stolen by the Warriors. To Curry. From long range, and Stephen Curry. We say it time and time again. Not much the defense could have done there. His instincts are unnatural, but what makes him so good given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits, and that comes with the lineage. His father, Dale Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and the effort. Kevin Durant sends it away. Curry to Thompson. Yes, Clay Thompson. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time.
Irving. Boston with four to shoot. Beyond the arc for three. Can't get the bounce. Curry with the basketball. Leads a bucket. Ah, Steph Curry. With that shot, he's five for eight. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. Celtics have it. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, three quarters down. The Warriors with the lead. The Warriors with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. The defending champs, Jay, getting all they can handle here at the Oracle. You don't see this very often. They've come in and put up one heck of a fight. But it doesn't matter if you don't get a check in that win column. Thompson to Curry. Let's it fly from long range. And Stephen Curry, the fastest release in the NBA, hits the three. And I don't know why the defense continues to help on guys that drive. Make them take shots over your bigs. By you helping more, you're just leaving three-point shooters open on the perimeter. Shot's no good. You have to like the confidence, but that was a difficult shot. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Thompson to Curry. Five to shoot for Golden State. Nothing going here on that drive. Stephen Curry with a look. Tatum. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. Curry to Durant. Shot clock winding down. Curry shakes free and hits. And they're relentless with these long shots. It just seems like their spacing is perfect, and they come down, they know exactly where they want to be, and they're shooting the ball without hesitation. To Irving. Driving right to the basket. Not done yet. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Knocks down the first. Coming right back to you. Gets both to drop at the line. To Cousins. Short jumper off the mark. To Irving. Finishing inside the paint on that one. So good to see one of Jersey's finest, Kyrie Irving, back on the court and driving with no issues on that knee. He only played 60 games last year, and he missed the entire Celtics postseason run. You can only imagine what this team would have done if he were healthy and they had Gordon Hayward. Irving. To Marcus Smart. With the step back. And while the ball was still in his hands, a sidestep throws a defender off. People aren't used to seeing that type of footwork. 
There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes, so no free throws yet. They'll take the ball out of bounds. This is why teammates love him. Yeah, that was an aggressive play, but you're also sending a message, setting the tone. You can't half step on that. Play is stopped. Timeout Boston. They'll need a quick shot and then likely a quick foul in what is now a two-possession game. it down and boy that was a lot to navigate no excuse to not be a little bit more physical there on the defensive end needed that stop and they'll foul their man intentionally so the clock is stopped with 11 seconds to play some players are built to handle these moments on one end you just sparked your team and at the same time you also got under your opponent's skin just want to manage through the emotions here and not take it too far to convert on both free throws. Timeout Boston. It's their second and final one of the last three minutes. They cannot stop the clock again. Contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. It's the Warriors who get the victory as they win a close one by two. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Hey, everyone. It's Jalen Rose. And it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Warriors finish with a narrow victory on the scoreboard. And it's surprising. We got such a competitive game when they hit so many threes. But they did what was necessary to finish it off. Check out the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors. The Celtics must be devastated after such a close loss. And even though they shot so well from the field, I bet they're only thinking about the shots they miss. This was a tough game to lose. 
Check out the leading scores for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Steph Curry put up the kind of points that made him an easy choice for this award. He couldn't be stopped. And when he realized he was in his own, he just took it to another level. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here we go with the top three plays. Number two. Number one. See y'all next time. Jalen Rose, signing out.